I have decided to follow Jesus. Our service ends and the people return to their caravans for the noon meal. We find ourselves asking the question, who is responsible for directing this army of people, which looks like a modern version of the Israelites in the desert? You know there must be a thousand details to care for. And someone must have very broad shoulders to carry this responsibility of leadership. The man that God has chosen to lead the Gypsy Revival is Clement Lekosek. I am glad that God keeps the records of men like this, for time surely does not permit our telling of his amazing dedication and untiring labor. We can only pause for a moment as Joe Mizzou interviews this remarkable leader. The revival truly came upon these people in 1952 when the Holy Spirit fell upon these people. Nous étions réunis dans la cave d'une maison pour la prière. We were gathered in the basement of a house to pray. Il y avait environ une trentaine de gitans. At that time there were about 30 gypsies that had gathered especially to seek the face of the Lord. J'ai eu la joie de voir le Seigneur baptisé du Saint-Esprit quelques-uns d'eux. And I seen it with my own eyes as God baptized several of these with his Holy Spirit. They were filled with the Holy Spirit and began to speak in other tongues. And uh, from this very moment, we know that the revival started among these people in France. How many would you say were saved, Reverend Lacostic, in this first year are baptized? J'ai eu la joie de baptiser les premiers gitans dans la mer. Ils étaient à cette époque-là une trentaine. I had the joy to baptize the first gypsies in the sea. At this time, there was around 30 of them. Et aujourd'hui, ils sont environ 10 000 baptisés en France. And today, there's around 10,000 of them baptized in France alone. Reverend Lacostic is careful to take little credit to himself. He praises the gypsy men chosen to make the council, which is trained to carry responsibilities. There are naturally many legal formalities to be cleared before such a gathering as this can congregate. Today, the converted gypsies have won the respect from the authorities everywhere in France. Now that legal requirements have been met, there arrives on the grounds this, the greatest of cargo, the big canvas cathedral. Even though the driver has driven the big van on congested roads for many hours. No turn back. No turn 